What's up guys, it's Damien from Cool Mentors IT and today I want to do a quick reminder about the HTML and really? What? This is what you're gonna talk about right now? Seriously? Why the whole storm with Cyberpunk is going on? Well, that's what I do. This is Cool Mentors IT. Wait the fu- Whoa, 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 language. This is an educational channel, you know. Cup Samurai. Who are you calling a Samurai? Alright, I hope I won't get fired after this. Hi guys, this is Cool Mentors IT. My name is Damien. What's up? I'm the Pete. And this is a split opinion about Cyberpunk 2077 on a base PS4 console. The release of Cyberpunk 2077 was a huge and controversial deal not only for the gamers community. The hype for this game was so high it was practically impossible to satisfy everyone at launch. Even if the game would be finished at launch. Which didn't happen. CD Projekt Red decided to release not only unfinished game. They released a game that was falsely advertised on the last gen consoles. A game that was barely playable at its launch. Dude, the game is a mess. Period. Let's give it a fair trial, shall we? Whatever, dude. Just make sure you won't get yourself a blue screen as you did every half an hour before the first hotfix came out, but eventually it came out. And after that, game was more and more stable, receiving couple patches more in a month after the release date. Well, good for you, sucker. So as I said, the game was rushed release. It's unfinished and those couple after launch patches fixed only the most important issues. But making the game possible to play and finish it. Yeah, barely. Nevertheless, playing it on a base PS4 is not the most comfortable gaming experience you can have. The resolution often drops to 720p. The screen likes to get blurry and grainy to keep the frame rate, which is also not impressive, forcing you to drive through the night city often below 20 frames per second. Hey, it's just like the old times when you played the first gothic game on your potato PC at very low specs in 15 frames per second, seeing only things in front of you popping out of that horrible distance fog. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Beautiful times. Yeah, but Cyberpunk sucks. Well, I wouldn't be so harsh about it, but it's definitely got its issues regardless of the platform. No matter if it's last gen consoles, current gen consoles or PC. The interface is laggy, the scripts are very often triggered at the wrong time or won't get triggered at all, pedestrians keep their mouth shut while speaking to you, NPCs character models like to stand in a default debugging t-pose, and let's just say that summoning your car is like summoning a demon. You never know what's gonna happen. As I said, the game sucks, but there are some good aspects of it, such as the visuals for example, well not from the technical point of view, but more from a designing point of view. Night City can be really beautiful at different times of the day and night. The world is dense and vertically designed. It's not a flat piece of land with some roads and buildings. The artistic approach of the developers can be seen around every corner of the city and you just can't miss it. Yeah, just like the ridiculous amount of dildos laying around all over the city. Really? What? The main characters are beautifully designed. Their animations are very detailed, so that with the first person perspective, many main dialogues become more realistic and really immersive. Yeah, those high poly models with the high res textures on them really contrast with the rest of the environment. I mean, you can literally see the fibers of the character's clothing sitting in front of you, but the newspaper laying on the table next to you is just a blurry blob. Well, you actually made your point here. Well, thank you, I guess. So what are you gonna say about the audio layer? Nothing. Audio's cool as hell. I agree. The radio stations are diverse and the songs from what I've heard are really well chosen. Voice acting is at the highest level, but sadly the Divine Keanu is not its pearl in the crown. Satisfying shooting sounds, various vehicle sounds, different ambient sounds, it's all wrapped up in a pretty good audio layer. Yeah, especially random sex sounds coming out of nowhere in a totally random situation. What? Let's talk about the gameplay, alright? Whatever. I mean, there's not much to talk about, but go on. 
So Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG game, which makes it really complex when it comes to some game mechanics. Dude, there are like dozens of screens with all these statistics, crafting, perks, equipment, inventory, implants, mods. As I said, it's an RPG and the mechanics can be a little bit overwhelming, especially at the beginning. Dude, you just ignored the most of it for like 30 hours in the game, because you didn't even know what to do with all these RPG mechanics. And who the hell came up with the idea that the clothing you wear has its statistics? The loot in this game is mostly random, so if you want your character to have the best stats, you're gonna look like a colorful bum. He's right again. Damn straight I am. But the shooting's okay. It is. Driving? As well. Stealth mechanics? Same. Melee combat? Also okay. Want to add something? Nah, I got nothing. Well, we have to say something. Well, technically, you have to say something. I'm just a form of expression presented by a certain film editing technique. But... but I thought we were friends. Dude, I'm not even real. Get off that computer and get a life. Nerd. But the story's good. Meh. What do you mean, meh? I saw you were crying at the end. I was not crying, okay? Something popped into my eye. Yeah, I know what that was. Panem rules, man. She does. So that would be all. If you like this video, click like. Yo, this game sucks and you suck as a reviewer, man. Well, at least I'm real. Wh wh Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm going out to get a life and to get rid of this punk out of my head. See you all next time. But seriously, Cyberpunk 2077 is an amazing game, which is simply unfinished and unoptimized for the last generation consoles. I spent 70 hours playing this game. I bought it at launch and I don't regret money spent on it. But it wasn't a smooth experience and you have to know it. Honestly, I encourage you to check it out after half of a year, or maybe even after the whole year if you're not so bug tolerant and maybe on the current gen consoles or a good PC. Because the world built by the CD Projekt Red, those characters you can spend so much time with, this story-driven first-person experience is really something else. Something worth diving in and completely sinking into for weeks or even months, but only after the game is finished and optimized. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video, as always on Cool Mentors IT.